everyone, are you ready to have a thrilling Python session with none other than the King of Pop, Michael Jackson? Did you know that Thriller is Michael Jackson's most popular song and album? Let us use Thriller as an example to learn the return statements in Python. You all know that you can call a function to perform a particular task in Python, but did you know that the function can communicate back to you? Functions can return information or output to a user. This may be a particular value or it could tell the user how the execution of the program was performed. That's what the return keyword allows us to do. Let's take a look at the different values that a function can return. If you wanted to share details about your favorite Michael Jackson album, you can just call the function getThrillerDetails and this function will return all of the details about this album. Here the details are stored in a dictionary and the function returns a dictionary. Here's a look at the code. You can call the function getThrillerDetails and it returns a dictionary with all the album details. Finally, we print the details. If you'd like to know the list of songs in the album, you can call the function getAlbumSongList and it will return all of the songs in the album. Here in this function, it returns a list and finally prints the list. In case you'd like to return a specific piece of information such as the name of the artist, you can use this code. Here the return type is string. Or if you're trying to get the year in which the album was released, you can call the function get year released. Here the return type is an integer. If you want to retrieve both the name of the artist and the year, you can return both the name and the year in a single function. In this way, a return statement in a function can return different data types. 